And our final caller here on The Secret Sound. Who have we got there? It's Tammy calling. How are you, Tammy? I'm good. How are you? I'm nervous and I'm freaking out. Oh, okay. And I don't know why, really. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we can get you $1,000. What's that sound? Is it dropping a mobile phone onto a DVD cover? <laughs> but anyway, Lisa, uh, guess what? Did I win? You won! <laughs> You're bright and bubbly. Are you addicted to Red Bull, coffee, something that's high on caffeine? No, I don't like any of that. <laughs> well, how are you so naturally bubbly at this hour of the morning? It's just me. You should be doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing of it? No, you're good at that. The Peter Holden Breakfast Show is more than just him giving away prizes. It is? She's actually been caught with sticky fingers. Her mum should really be oh, Hang on, hang on. Is she going to Winona Ryder here? <laughs> what did you think of what happens in Vegas? Ah, uh, well, that uh, was a pretty wild night, wasn't it? For the movie, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> right. I thought she meant what they did in Vegas. No! Oh, sorry. Well, there you go. It's worth listening. To the Peter Holden Breakfast Show, weekday mornings from 6 on Classic Rock 1025. This is what we're doing. You're paying me off. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. How are you, Shane? Mate, we're talking about billy carts. When was the last time you saw a billy cart? Mate, when was the last time you checked out a billy cart? I'm talking the old fashioned variety, push them down a hill. Oh, they've got an energy breakthrough, it's called in Maryborough every year, and there was, I think, 160 push carts there and probably about 300 pedal ones there. Now the question is, how did you used to stop? Well, you just bailed. <laughs> <laughs> how many uh, times I flipped the billy cart sideways or wood flying over uh, the gutter? Yeah. Skin off or something, yeah, no, nah, it used to always happen. <laughs> Kate's still here and she's graffitiing in a book. Well, it's not my book. Hey, you've gone back to school, haven't you? Greedy, graffiti inside the camera. I just can't I'm help just but... Find I can't gum. help but doodle, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find chewing gum under the table, you realise that, you know? I was just checking my side of the desk. <laughs> Joking, not I wouldn't... Doodle, huh? I wouldn't do yeah. that. <laughs> now, let's... <laughs> Strange things always happen after dark. Mine is overnight. Good morning, 4HI. Who's on the line? Hi, it's Belinda. G'day, Belinda. How are you going? Good, how are you going? Not too bad. You've got a very husky voice. What's going on there? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Am I about to be charged $5 per minute if I continue this call? No, no. <laughs> Matt to Magella. No worries. I used to ring up when Trace was on, but... She used to call me a pain in the ass all the time. <laughs> Mate, I'm about to call you a pain in the ass. From the, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> hey, the slow song on a Saturday morning. Bloody hell. Look at those. <laughs> I've got a little theory here, according to two of your stories, O.J. Simpson and Britney Spears. Now, we heard about Britney apparently, allegedly, um, getting a contract on KFED. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Well, how about this? O.J. needs some money. Britney needs someone to be taken care of. O.J. Let's just say he has a little experience in a certain department. <laughs> I see the winning partnership here. Smartest man in, in uh, radio. I don't know why you're even there, to be honest. You've, you've just solved the case and linked them all together. Well done. Mine is overnight. Finally, Brad Pitt and Angelina have just gone and got a puppy dog. There you go, and they've named her Brittany. Black, <laughs> Black, thank you very much for joining us this morning on 4 <laughs> He's lost it. He's lost it. I told you he's hung over. And we'll catch you tomorrow morning around the same time. Oh, funniest thing you've ever said. There's a couple of golden oldies there, mate. Yeah, he's a, he's a young fellow, so it'll piss him right off. <laughs> Beautiful, love your work. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You've got a wedding coming up tomorrow. Okay, who's the poor bugger that's getting hitched? Who's facing the life sentence? Uh, Gary Zinbear and Sean and McKay, mate. Oh, uh, my sympathies to them. <laughs> yeah, mine too. <laughs> Lindsay Lohan is addicted to sex while in rehab. The amount of people applying for jobs at rehab has gone absolutely through the roof. Well, they can't have it. They can't have it. I have made a clear indication since I started in radio, and every other person I've worked with in radio knows the rule. If there's a redhead out there, I have first dibs. I'm a redhead. Female, that is. Female. Female, for God's sake, Gla female. Yeah, just, uh, hey, look, it's Friday. I'm glad you clarified what oh, that Oh, don't put that sickening thought <laughs> in my mind. Oh, oh, do we have to end like that?